Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can translate a document directly in Microsoft Word. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say this. Now, with translating documents, in the past, you've always been able to start typing a document in Microsoft Word. You could copy it, paste it into, say, Google Translate or Bing Translate, and then you could copy and bring it back into Microsoft Word. Gone are those days, though. Now you can translate a document or text directly in Microsoft Word, and it's extremely easy to do. So why don't we jump on the PC, and I'll show you how you can do it. All right, well here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Word open. This is the latest and greatest version of Microsoft Word that comes with Microsoft 365. If you have the latest version, you should be able to follow along with this. Now, I recently had a child and I've been getting a lot of gifts from family friends. Now, I have a lot of family friends who live in Germany and Anna and Jacob sent me a nice book for my son Thomas. Uh, and I'd like to send them a thank you note in German rather than sending it back in English. So here what I did is I, I composed a message that I want to send to them. So I'm going to say, hello, Anna and Jacob. Thanks so much for the wonderful book. It was very thoughtful of you too. We have been reading the book to Thomas every single night. And then I just go on and on and just include some information and, and basically thank them for the very thoughtful and kind gesture. Now what I want to do is I want to get this into German so I could send it to them. So like I said before, in the past what I could do is I could simply copy this text and what I could do is I could bring it to my browser and I could either go to Google Translate, paste it in, I could go to Bing Translate, paste it in, or in Google what you could even do is you could save the document and then and just upload the document to Google where it'll do the translation. However, that requires a number of steps. You have to copy the text uh, or you have to save the document then you have to upload it. Luckily, you don't have to do that anymore. Instead, what you could do is you could do it directly in Word. So here's my text in Microsoft Word. Now, what we're gonna do is over on the top of Word here, you see all these different pivots. And what we wanna do is we wanna click into the review pivot. This is where you're gonna be able to translate a document. And within the review pivot, you'll see all these different options on the ribbon. The one we care about is the one that says translate. So I'm gonna go ahead and this will allow me to translate content into different languages and it uses the Microsoft Translator online service. Now here I have two different options I could choose. One of them is translate a selection or I could simply translate the entire document. So let's go ahead and I'll just click in to translate the selection. Now what this does is it brings up a pane over on the right hand side where I can then do my translation. And so what it'll do is it says from, and right now it's set to auto detect. So if I just wanna do a selection, you know, let's say I select uh, thanks uh, so much for the wonderful book. So as I select that, you see that it immediately translates. And here I'll try my best German. It says, vielen Dank für das wunderbare Buch. Um, so that's the German translation, so not bad. And so here I could go through, I could even highlight, and then I could translate all the text here. And what that'll do then, is over here on the right hand side, I get the full translation of my text. And one thing I could do here is I could copy, you know, here I could highlight the text, copy, and then I could bring that back into my Word document. So I could paste in that selection, and then here's my, here's my translation. But in this case, I just wanna translate the entire document. I don't just need to do a selection. Uh, so in this case, what I could do is over here, there's another pivot across the top of the translator, and I'll go ahead and let's select this. And here what it says is create a translated copy of this document with the Microsoft Translator service. Once again, I could have it auto detect the original language and then I could select the language that I wanna to translate to. Now one of the things you could do is let's say that you're always translating documents from one language to another. You could have Word remember what language setting you used. So when you come back in the future, it'll just default to that language. So that's something that could just simplify your workflow a little bit, especially if you're doing a lot of translations. So let's go ahead, let me click on translate and we'll see how this turns out. So what it's doing now is it's taking the document, uh, it ran it through Microsoft's translator service and this is what it gave me back. Here is, uh, basically it opened up a new document. So here you see my original English document underneath and here it opened a new document uh, in German. So um, let's take a look and see how the translation quality looks. Vielen Dank für das wunderbare Buch, es war sehr Nach, uh, nach den, denklich von Ihnen beiden, wir haben Thomas das Buch jeden Abend vorgelesen. Er ist ein sehr süßer Junge. And then it goes on and on. Um, overall, the translation, while it's not going to be perfect, uh, it's fairly good and it communicates the point. Uh, and I'm sure that my uh, that my family friends in Germany will be 
uh, very pleased to get this thank you note uh, and this way just to really thank them for that thoughtful gesture uh, of sending the gift. Now, one thing I could do is uh, if I, I'll just minimize this window for a moment, minimize my English letter. I also have a German uh, letter that I've written and, and this is in uh, perfect German here. So it should all be written very nicely. And so what I can do now is I'll, I'll simply open up the translator again. Once again, I'm gonna click on review. We're gonna go to translate and what I could do is I'll translate the document. So here you can see the reverse uh, going from, what we're gonna do is auto detect. It should detect that it's German and then we wanna translate into English. And we're gonna go ahead and translate this document. So here you can see the English message. So it says, uh, dear Paul, uh, Paul and Mia, thank you for the outfit. The outfit looks very sweet on Thomas, especially the vest. So a little off on vest there. Uh, we were very lucky to have a healthy boy. He is a very nice boy and he has filled our lives with lots of joy. On the 14th, he was already five months old. When we visit Germany, we visit Berlin to introduce Thomas. Uh, so here overall, the translation from German to English, uh, it's pretty effective and uh, it communicates uh, all the main points. Uh, pretty, pretty good translation. All right, well, that was a quick demonstration of how you could use the translator built directly into Microsoft Word. And gone are the days where you have to copy your text and bring it to an external translator only to then bring it back into your Word document. Now, translations have become a lot better over time. When I first started using online translators, they were pretty awful. Uh, you would take a look at it and you could use it to translate words or very short sentences, but the longer the sentence got, the worse the translation got. Um, luckily though, online translators have become better and better and Microsoft Word uh, takes advantage of those good translations now. Now, if you're in school and you're taking a foreign language class, hopefully you don't just rely entirely on the translator and you actually try to learn the language. Uh, but if you're in a tight situation and you really need a translation quickly, uh, whether it's because you're in school, whether it's because you need to write a letter to someone, or maybe you got a, a foreign correspondence and you want to translate it, the translator in Word does a very, very good and effective job uh, at translating. It. Uh, anyway, that's uh, so that was the video on how to translate. Um, if you were able to translate a document successfully, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you want to see in the future, any other topics that you want to see me cover, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Hope to see you next time. Bye.